Fun Facts presents the 1956 Porsche 356A 1600 Cabriolet. This is a 50s classic car. It was introduced back in 1956 and had a production run through 1958. These are my favorite cars. The 356, period, are my favorite Porsches of all time, especially the Speedster. So these are near and dear to my heart. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. And let's get started now. At the 1955 Frankfurt Motor Show in September of 1955, Porsche released the 356A 1600 to the world with the Cabriolet, the Coupe, and the Speedster bodies from Reuter. These were updated to better suit the improved gasoline and tire technologies of the period. With the 356A came a larger 1582cc engine that had higher compression to take advantage of the available higher octane fuels. The type A type 616 2 super engine was offered as an option with raised power. Extensive testing by the experimental department known as the Virtulung resulted in numerous suspension and driveline mounting changes before the final 356A specification was decided. They softened the springs by removing leaves from the torsion cars and fitted stiffer dampers. There was done to this to take advantage of more modern tire technology which allowed for a smaller diameter 15 inch tire and a wider tread with a reduced air pressure. From the outside, the 356A kept to the Porsche mantra of the stepwise evolution. The new model was outwardly identical to the previous version except for the wider tires. A small rub strip below the doors a fully curved front window, enamel paint replacing the lacquer previously used. Inside, Porsche fitted an all-new flat face dashboard that was sculpted around the new curved windshield. It included a padded top, locking glove block, box, and a provision for a modern radio. The other interior appointments included a headlight flasher, automatic interior lighting, self-canceling signal switches, and most importantly, a lower floor. Popular options were a steering wheel lock and a clock. At the 1957 Frankfurt Motor Show, Porsche released the T2 body style with exhaust routing through the rear bumper over riders. The more importantly, the T2 cars stopped using the roll bearing crankshafts and the hearth crankshaft in the super models. Other changes included changing the carburation from Zolex to Zenith 32 NDIX. By 1959, the 356A was replaced outright by the 356B. From 1956 to 58, the Porsche 356A 1600 Cabriolet, despite looking outwardly similar to the preceding models, Porsche thoroughly updated their 356 line in 1956 and called their new model the 356A. At the core, this included a larger 1600cc engine, but also a curved glass windshield and a thoroughly revised suspension. At the 1955 Frankfurt Motor Show in September of 1955, Porsche released the 356A 1600 to the world with the Cabriolet, the Coupe, and the Speedster bodies. These were updated to better suit the improved gasoline and tire technologies of the period. Intensive testing by experimental department 
resulted in numerous suspension drive line mounting changes and before the final 356A specification was decided, they softened the springs by removing leaves from the torsion cars and fitted stiffer dampers. Approximately 76,000 <clears throat> were made of the 356A, increasing success with its racing and road cars brought Porsche order, o, o, orders for over 10,000 units in 1964, and by the time 356 production ended in 1965, approximately 76,000 had been produced. The 356 was built from 1948 to 1965 in six major types, the 356-2, 356 Pre A, 356A, 356B, the T5 and T6, and the 356C. And to the eyes of the non enthusiasts, they are nearly indistinguishable. The Porsche 356 is a sports car that was first produced by Australian. Austrian company Porsche and then by German company F Porsche. It was Porsche's first production automobile. Earlier cars designed by the Australian, the Austrian company included the Grand Prix race car, the Volkswagen Beetle and Auto Union Grand Prix cars. The 356 is a lightweight and nimble handling rear engine, rear wheel drive two-door available both in hard door, hard top coupe and open configurations. Inger, engineering innovations continued during the years of manufacturer contributing to its motorsport success and popularity. Production started in 1948 in Gumund, Austria, where Porsche built approximately 50 cars. The 1950 in 1950, the factory relocated to Zuffenhausen, Germany, and general production of the 356 continued until April of 1965, well after the replacement model, the 911, made its September 1964 debut. Of the 76,000 originally produced, approximately half survived. The original price in 1948 for the 356 coupe was 3750 equivalent in today's money in 2021-22 is $42,300 and the 356 Cabriolet cost $4,250 the equivalent of $47,900 so by no means these cars were cheap back then wow very interesting In late 1955, with numerous small but significant changes, the 356A was introduced. Its internal factory designation Type 1 gave rise to its nickname T1 among enthusiasts. In the U.S., 1,200 early 356s had been badged as the Continental and then a further 156 from autumn 1955 through January 1956 as even a rare T1 European, European variant after which it was reverted to its numerical 356 designation. In early 1957, a second revision of the 356A was produced known as the Type 2 or T2. Production of the Speedster peaked at 1,171 cars in 1957 and started to decline. The four cam Carrera engine, initially available only in the Spider race cars, became an available option starting with the 356A. Well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing many, many cars from the 1950s, the concept cars, sports cars, 
we'll be doing all the cars in the sports cars from 1960. We'll be specializing in muscle cars, concept cars, sports cars. And after that, we'll be doing autoramas and auto shows. We'll be doing hot rods and custom cars. So a little bit of everything for everybody. And we'll be touching on the the trucks of the 50s and the 60s. I think in just a couple of months, we'll be showcasing those. So we hope to see you when we upload our next video. And always, always, always take good care and have a great day. Thank you.